your flashlight. Kill your flashlight. Uh -huh. I'll do this for this. No, I, I, I'm good. I, I'm all right. You ready? Uh, good evening. It's uh, John Esposito, E-S-P-O-S-I-T-O. -S I'm the Chief of Fire Operations. Uh, so a few minutes after 7 o'clock tonight, we received a call for 1420 Noble Avenue uh, reporting a fire on the top floor. Our units arrived on under four minutes, and we discovered fire in a cock loft, which is the area between the top floor ceiling and the underside of the roof. It's about three or four feet deep. Uh, the fire was in the cock loft throughout the, one of the wings of the building, approximately half the building. Uh, heavy fire. Our units initially conducted interior operations, uh, tried to extinguish the fire. It turned out to be too much fire. We had partial ceiling and partial roof collapses. Uh, we ripped through our units. We're now using five towel ladders to extinguish the fire. The fire is still not under control. Uh, we do have some minor injuries that EMS will talk about. Uh, the building, uh, the, the residents of the building, uh, Commissioner Iskell will talk about what the residents of the building can do uh, to seek shelter. Um, and it's going to be a prolonged operation. Uh, after it's safe, uh, some of the tenants will be allowed to be escorted back in uh, to get some of their valuables. I'll pass it now to NISIM Commissioner Iskell. Thanks a lot, Chief. Um, first off, just want to say thank you to uh, Chief Esposito and the remarkable uh, men and women of the New York City Fire Department. They're doing incredible work out here, also EMS uh, and some of the other agencies that we have represented like HPD and DOB. Uh, for residents of the building, uh, we've set up a service center along with the Red Cross at the Bronx River Parkway uh, Community Center and the Bronx River Parkway houses and the community center there. It's at 1619 East 174th Street. Uh, I recommend everybody uh, go there, even if you don't need shelter for tonight. Uh, it is important that you register with the Red Cross. That's the primary mechanism by which we can then feed you the information you need about times you can come back to the building, get access to look to get your personal belongings or any other services or things that you might need. So again, we have that service center set up at the Bronx River Parkway houses in the community center there and recommend everybody go there, register with the Red Cross even if you don't need shelter for tonight. Thank you. Chief Milani. Hi, good evening. Uh, we've been fortunate. We've only had five injuries at this uh, particular incident. All of them we consider minor. Uh, one firefighter taken to the hospital with some minor injuries, one civilian taken to a hospital with also minor injuries, and three that we treated on scene that did not require hospital transport. Chief, just uh, introduce yourself and spell your name for them. Hi, Chief Fred Villani, V is in Victor, I-L-L-A-N-I. Yes. Were anyone injured at the initial start of the fire? How did anyone pull out when the fire started that was injured? Uh, no, not in the initial stages, no. So the, the, the fire was contained within the original fire building and to one of the wings of the fire building. Uh, our firefighters uh, were positioned and, and through very aggressive firefighting prevented it from extending to the adjacent wing. So it's contained to one portion of the building. Uh, the, the, the cock loft, it's the space between the top floor ceiling and the roof. Five, four, four civilian, one, one firefighter, all minor. Anybody else? No, not 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 initially. Uh, the people had uh, had gotten themselves out of their apartments. How many floors does the water get? In the wing where the fire was, all floors are going to suffer water damage. Everybody okay? Okay. Uh, it's a it's a tall building. It's a very big building. So trying to get hose lines to the top floor to extinguish the fire, get enough hose lines is very difficult very time consuming, and in this case, the fire had uh, a lot of headway and we weren't able to keep up with it. No, the fire is not under control yet and it won't be for a while. That'll be evaluated uh, when we're safe to enter. Yeah, and uh, the cause is gonna be under investigation by the Bureau of Fire Investigation. Okay, 
Thank you. Thank you, Chief. Thank you. Have Thank a great you. night.